So today, I will be using this example to demonstrate how to solve for vapor pressure. This question states, the vapor pressure of water is 17.5 mmHg. What is the vapor pressure of water over a solution prepared from 2.00 times 10 to the 2 grams of sucrose and 3.50 times 10 to the 2 grams of water? The first thing we need to do is identify our formula and our givens. So we are going to use this formula for vapor pressure. First, we are given 17.5 mmHgs. This is our pressure. This is eventually going to be our moles, and we are going to solve for that. This is our unknown. This is what we are solving for. In order to solve for V1, we first need to find the moles of 2.00 times 10 to the 2 grams of sucrose and 3.50 times 10 to the 2 grams of water. So first we begin with sucrose. If we move the decimal over two times, we get 200 grams of sucrose. Then we find the molar mass, which is 342.3 grams. So by dividing 200 grams of sucrose divided by 342.3 grams of sucrose and equaling that to one mole, we find that one mole is equal to 0.58. We then repeat this procedure for water. 350 grams of water is equal to one mole divided by 18.2 grams of water because this is our molar mass. So 350 divided by 18.02 gives us 19.4 moles of water. Now that we have this, V is equal to N1 divided by N1 plus N2. N is the number of moles. N1 would be our water. So we put 19.4 moles of water on top and divide that by 19.4 plus 0.58 moles. This gives us 19.4 divided by 19.98. This gives us V is equal to 0.97. Now that we have all of our values, we can plug in them into the equation. So P1 still remains our unknown. But we know that V is 0.97, and we know that this pressure is 17.5. Once we multiply those two, we get an unknown pressure of 17.0 mmHg.